It's week four. It is tango time. I'm Matt. I'm Maggie. And we're going to jump into change of places. Now, don't forget, if you want to rewatch any of these parts, we have time codes listed down below. So if you want to rewatch the demonstration, the breakdown, the lead, the follow, the key points, all that good stuff, just click below. But let's go ahead and jump into our pattern demonstration. All right, let's go ahead and demonstrate this pattern. We'll start off from a promenade position. We have slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow. All right, let's go ahead and break this pattern down. So it's going to be our promenade flare, flare promenade. And then uh, once we open out, we're going to do a change of place, like the, the name of the pattern suggests. It'll be a three-step turn using uh, rhythms of quick, quick, slow, or one, two, three, four count. And we'll exchange places, do it again, and then continue with the pattern. So we'll go ahead and get into our setup. We start in promenade, we have our slow, the second slow, we drop the hand and start to rotate the partner, and then we have quick, quick, slow. Of course, your styling is your option here. This is where we uh, change gears. So normally we're leading with the hand and the body moving forward, but instead we compress and we wrap into it, bringing the follow straight across to us for quick, quick, and then slow. So we're using this compression laterally to make that work, opposed to stepping forward and bringing them out of that step, we bring them into it. They see us wrapping, so they kind of mirror that action. This is a kind of an easy thing to affect. Once we get back to original positions, we can then move forward into a different pattern. At the beginning stage, we want to go ahead and just get out of it, so we'll lead the rest of the flare promenade. So that is the proper flare promenade right there. We close back up, just we would for promenade, and then we end quick, quick, and then kind of collect. We can end in a promenade position or we can end in a closed position. It's up to you. All right, leads, let's go ahead and do your footwork. So we'll do it from this perspective for you. We'll start out in promenade position. We'll have slow, the left foot, stepping forward and across the right foot for slow, quick, quick, slow. Now here comes the change of places. We start with our left foot. We're going quick, Wrapping into it, quick, grab the hand, slow. Get a little bit of stretchy going on here, connect. Repeat again, right foot going across, wrap into it. The follow's gonna go in front of us, we're wrapping into our own arm. Quick, quick, slow. Now we finish the flare promenade is here. That's the flare promenade, we flared, and now we're going to through promenade position. Quick, quick, slow. Let's go over our footwork for this pattern. So, if we start off here in this uh, promenade position with our weight on our left leg and our right leg free, so we're going to start by taking a step with our right, and then we're going to take a step with our left. Uh, so the first step was slow, and then this is slow, and we're preparing to sort of roll out off of our lead and then we have quick stepping or turning to our left and then quick standing on our left foot and slow and pointing with our right foot then we're going to go wrap into our partner turning to our right and we're going to step on our Right for quick, left for quick, and then slow, we land on our right foot, and then we do the same going the other way. So it's quick, quick, slow, landing on our left. So now it's the same as the player promenade as we did before. So we're going to uh, feel the lead a little bit forward, so we're going to step a little bit forward onto the leg that is free, so we're going to step onto our right leg, and then we're going to feel this 
turning action from our hand and from the lead's body to flare and face our partner. So then that was slow. Then we use quick, quick, slow to reconnect with our partner. So from here, so we have slow, and then we set through, and snap, slow, and then we have quick, quick, and draw in for slow, our usual tango close. And the amount of turn is going to be absolutely determined by however much your lead decides to turn, or you know, he's also going to, your lead really is also going to determine uh, if you end up in the promenade. But for the most part, that's a flawless footwork. All right, let's go ahead and do the key points for this pattern. So the most important thing is maintaining our connection once we open out because we need to be able to communicate effectively that we're going to use this, this one hand connection as stretchiness from here. We want to feel where this is going to go because if the connection is either too stiff, it'll look like we're jerking the partner around, or if it's too loose, the hand will too clearly proceed and then it, it's not effective. So we need to make sure that we maintain tone in both our arm and then into our, our body so we make this all one part. So that way we're, as a follow, receptive to feeling a flare promenade or any kind of roll-in or trade changing the place. So in this point, particularly the stretching away, we're going to feel, as a follow, you're going to feel the lead pull you at them, but you'll see visually the lead wrap into that arm. That is going to be your key to knowing to continue across. So that's what you're going to look for as a visual cue. When you see the lead wrap into their own arm, that is going to be how you respond. Leads, just make sure you clear your own arm. You don't want to do the, the arm where it's just dead and disconnected and then we just kind of wrap into it. It looks really weird when we just see this kind of wrapping action. Bring the hand up, but don't keep the elbow out. Just bring it up and keep it close. So don't, don't chicken wing because we don't want to hit the follow as they come across. So from here, we go into it, just keep it close to your body, then let go of the hand at the rib cage, and the follow's hand is gonna slide across the back, down the arm to the elbow, and then we'll let go to open here. Because different things down the road can happen, so we wanna make sure when we're doing these trading places for our parts, that they slide the full length of the body to the next piece, so we can utilize that and go in different directions down the road. But primarily, right now, we go here, we connect, they slide, and then you grab. You want to stay as connected as you can because if they decide for whatever reason to change, to stop, or whatever, you're connected. It's not and go and then just we are flying off the handle. We stay connected throughout because we don't know what's going to be happening next. So keep tone through all these actions and play with that. And I think that's going to be the thing that makes the biggest difference for you so you can feel what pattern is going to be executed and how, as the lead, you're going to then execute following this. In this case, it's a flare promenade. So after you've let the sideways or lateral action, this one is a forward and diagonal. And again, like we said in the prior video, you want to use this with the body lead connected in, and that brings us into the flare promenade action. There you go, there's your key point. All right, let's go ahead and demonstrate this in a real-time manner. That way you can see what this would look like on the dance floor. So we'll go ahead and start off in our prana position and dance through this a couple times. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, slow. Slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. All right, that's it for us today. Great job, everyone. Keep playing with your patterns. If you have any questions, feel more than welcome to reach out to us. Check us out at dailydanceservices.com. Reach out to us on social media. 
uh, daily dance services. All right, well, we will see you next time.